Hey everybody, um, I decided to go ahead and do another live video, a little quick tutorial again about making a uh, One Piece Sherlock. Um, also, uh, in previous videos I've got done cool hats and I got another cool one here for y'all. Uh, I picked this hat up this last weekend at a festival called the uh, Spring Reunion. It used to be called Spring Fest and uh, this uh, this woman that I know from just around, uh, she made this hat. It's uh, her name is Chime, and she goes by something completely different on um, Facebook. But uh, yeah, I uh, I see some folks are watching. Hey man, um, I'll do my very best to kind of go through the comments after we get done, and uh, and you know answer questions and everything else as we go along. So, got my Eeyore hat on, feeling good. It's springtime again. We're, uh, we're working in the shop, we're gonna make some stuff. Uh, real quickly, um, if you had checked out my YouTube channel before and you hadn't seen it, um, I, I had done a appreciation award for this uh, guy named Bill Withers, and if you don't know who Bill Withers is, you should, you should find out. But I got the, uh, the actual award done, and I'm gonna grab it real quick. just to kind of show you guys what's going on. So this is the Cap Glass Appreciation Award and it turned out freaking awesome. And there's a, there's a placard on there that says uh, Cap Glass Appreciation Award presented to Bill Withers as a token of appreciation for touching the world with your music. So I was super happy with the way that turned out. Just a little show and tell there. Um, something, a project that I had worked on on video previously, and um, if you followed me on Instagram and everything, you could kind of see the, the progress, but here, here is the completed award. So I was really happy with the way that turned out. <clears throat> so anyways, a couple other points of business. I, I, um, last uh, tutorial I did was just a basic spoon pipe demo, um, and I decided to go ahead and give, give those demo pipes away. Um, I asked if if you wanted to uh, be entered into that giveaway or whatever to go onto my YouTube channel, um, give me a subscribe, and uh, just go ahead and drop a comment in the in the video that's named uh, "Making a Spoon Pipe Demo." It's named something like that. Um, so here they are. I think I got about four or five people to com that commented. I'd like to get a couple more folks commenting um, before I actually do the giveaway. So uh, if you wanted to, uh, to get a new little spoon pipe, maybe something you can set on your bench if you're just new and beginning, um, that would be cool. That way you could uh, have something to maybe model your, your uh, spoons off of. Um, so anyways, I decided that um, this next video kind of along the same theme with the uh, with the spoon pipe is maybe we'd make a, a Sherlock, one piece Sherlock together today. Um, so some of the materials I'll be using, I'll be using some 25 by four Chinese cobalt. Um, I've got a chunk of silver on the end of this rod. Um, a nice, decent, decently long punty. Um, and uh, you know, just a ball push. Very, very, very basic tools. Maybe a claw grabber. Uh, the other thing that uh, I wanted to do in this video, I forgot in the last video, and a bunch of people called me on it. They were like, "Well, how do you get the the spoon off of the uh, off of the blow tube when you get done?" And um, I did my best to describe it, but I have one sitting in the kiln right now, so um, I'll I'll try to remember to to demonstrate that. Uh, let me grab, I just made a uh, one piece just to kind of, you know, dust, dust the skills off a little bit. So that's the one that I just made and uh, we'll be going for something about like that. So that shape, kind of that design. I like making them kind of a flat mouthpiece, and this pipe I like making directly off of a point. Um, you know, I, I don't generally make my spoons right off of a point, but uh, this particular style of pipe, it's, it's just easier for me to make it right off of the point. So I'm gonna 
chuck this back in the kiln and then we'll go ahead and get started. Right. So, springtime here in Atlanta, y'all. It's amazing. I came back from this little festival the other day and it was like my backyard is a freaking jungle now. Um, so, anyways, so before I begin, um, I've just prepped up a point on the end of this, on the end of this tube. One of the things I'd like to point out is that this point right here is it is 17 inches long and um, it's kind of important to have a nice long handle uh, when at least my experience is when you when you're making uh, one of these one piece Sherlock's and the reason for that is we're gonna get this thing really freaking hot we're gonna get it soupy hot and if you're really close if your hand is really close to the fire and it's that hot um, you know <laughs> The instinct is to not let it get hot enough and then you're gonna wind up making a kind of a wonky pipe. So the other thing I wanted to say is that I'm gonna have a nice long point. I wanna have, I don't know, a four and a half or five inch long point for this, for this particular pipe. So I'll go ahead and mark my length here. So I got my little mark right there. You guys probably can't see that, but yeah. So anyways, I'll do my very best to kind of explain as I go along the steps, you know, and this is, uh, this particular style of pipe isn't something that I'm like super perfect at at this point, but um, and sometimes I'll still mess them up. I'll make a wonky one every so often. Um, one of my buddies was over here the other day and I was I made a few and like two out of the three or the four just did not turn out quite right. <laughs> and I had told him, oh, I'm thinking about doing that as my next demo. And he's like, well, maybe you wanna wait and like make sure you can get it. <laughs> so anyways, yeah. So a nice long point, there again. Okay. All right, so now I've got like this weird Dr. Seuss thing going on. My first step is going to be, um, is going to be cleaning up the end of this here uh, blank. And I just want it to be a nice even wall weight. And I'm gonna gather some glass right here on the end and just puff it out a little bit. And I'll stop and I'll show you guys uh, what what's going on with that. So somebody asked, uh, somebody asked what shade, what shade am I wearing? These are um, shade threes, and they're the ones that you can get from Mountain Glass. Um, I had some from. Uh, Sundance and I lost them and these are nice but they have this green tint to them so everything kind of appears green um, so I'll have a, a rod of white and a rod, and a rod of uh, you know slime or something like that and it'll look exactly the same unless I look over them so anyways and if you guys miss a step or whatever uh, just know that I'm gonna archive this video uh, I tend to do that uh, later the same night, usually, or maybe the next day. So I'm just trying to even out the wall weight on the very end of this thing. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a little gather on the end, and I'm just gonna puff it out uh, in preparation for uh, for making this pipe here. It's pretty important with these one pieces since this end is going to be uh, is going to become the ball piece. It's pretty important that your wall weight is is fairly consistent, um, especially on the end. You don't want it too thin, um, you know, because you're going to be pushing the bowl in, into that glass there. Now 
I'm just going to mess with this until I get it the shape that I want it to be. I'm almost there with that. Yeah, okay. So you see where we are. That's about where we're at. I'm going to go ahead and warm the rest of this blank up and I'm going to throw some silver fume on it and stop and show you guys, show you guys that. And if you're, um, you know, new to lamp working, new to glass blowing, um, you know, one of the things that I feel just so very fortunate about is that I have some really good teachers in my life. I was actually talking to one of my good friends and teachers this weekend about just how easy it was for me to get into... Um, becoming a lamp worker and um, that was just has it had everything to do with you know the people that I knew so sometimes I'll see people post things on the groups and I you know I feel kind of bad it's like um, you know if you don't have a teacher you know maybe this will help I don't know maybe it won't but um, a lot of a lot of what we do is just learning as we go but um, you know maybe it'll help it, it's always helped me to see each step, step by step. So I'm just getting this blank ready here for some, for some fume. All right, everybody, hold your breath. So my next steps are going to be, I'm going to pull down just a bit from like, I need a pointer, um, from like here to here, I'm going to heat it up and I'm going to pull it down. Then I'm going to take this hip and I'm going to turn that into a little Maria. Um, and I'm also going to, I'll be punting up to this end here. Um, so anyways, uh, once I do that, then I'll stop and I'll show you guys the next step there. So it's pretty important too that I make a clean punny connection um, on the end of this thing. I want this punny to be pretty nice. Uh, I'm going to have to break it off a little bit later. And um, I want it to break off relatively cleanly. Um, there again, this, you know... Um, Dem demonstrating things, I think seeing demos, when I, when I see a demo for myself, what I look for is those, those little nuances, the things that, you know, might not get explained, but um, are kind of crucial in terms of actually pulling something off, so um, I try my best to explain those kinds of things. That idea with having nice long handles, that's really important for this, for this particular uh, style of pipe. Okay, so I've got a, a punny attached now. And I've just got kind of a neutral, medium neutral flame. Um, actually, somewhat small flame. And I'm just going in here, just like I pointed out to you guys a second ago. Right in that little area, and I'm going to gather up a little glass and then just pull it down just pull it down soft you know you don't have to get crazy with it you definitely want to stay on center try to keep everything nice and centered Okay, you guys see where we're at? And I'm gonna put a Maria right there. I'm just gonna condense that a little bit more and make it a little bit flatter. Um, but yeah, if you guys uh, care to, just go check out the YouTube channel. Um, 
I put a link right there in the description of this video. Um, and you know, if you're especially, you know, maybe you're a newer glass worker, um, maybe you don't have a, a teacher. You know, the idea for me is just, you know, it might help somebody out. So, um, you know, if it helps you, great. If you don't care for the videos, that's okay too. You don't have to watch them. You know, it's like it's all good. Okay. Now in that last video I did, I, I made the first spoon with just my center fire. In this video, we're not doing that. We got, we got to rage it. Um, okay, so that's where we're at. We got a Maria. We got the kind of the start of our neck, our mouthpiece. So my next goal is I'm going to turn on that big fire and I'm going to take this glass right here from this bulbous end to about right in here and I'm going to get it pretty soupy and it's going to be a one shot thing and that's the thing about one piece Sherlock's is that you get one shot um, pretty much before it, if you don't get it in that one shot you, you just you got to start over basically so um, my flame chemistry for this step is I'm going to want I'm going to want a pretty ragey flame um, something that has some punch to it um, you know, it could be neutral, but it needs to have it needs to have some punch to it. And I'm also going to stand up here in a second and, and do this swoopy do. Um, so I'm focusing more toward the bulbous end of this thing, kind of going into the neck a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna stand up. And I'll do my best to keep this move on the on camera. Ready? Hold her steady. Bam. Bamma lama. I'm gonna go back in here and just just work this this U just a touch. We don't want to overdo, but just any little stress that's in there, we want to kind of get it out at this point. Just a touch, just a hair. All right. I hope you guys were able to see that move. It's a. Uh, did I blow into it? Um, Swoops do. Yes, it is a technical term. Yes, I blew into it. Yes, I did. Thank you for asking that question. I absolutely did. So now I'm going to crack this punny off. Okay. Bam. All right. So now I'm just going to clean off that punny mark a little bit. That punny came off nice and cleanly, just kind of how I was hoping. Uh, we just want to clean it just a touch. All right. Now I'm going to pop my bow hole, focus just like I would on any other any other type of a piece. If you've made a spoon pipe before, you kind of know how that goes. It can be a little bit awkward just because of the shape of this thing.
I need a bit of a brushy flame again. Just like we would uh, push a bowl in any other type of a pipe at this point. Um, so brushy flame, nice wide swath of hot glass there. See why I said in the beginning of that video that that wall weight on the top was really important for this particular type of a pipe. Ready? So that's where we're at. I'm going to go ahead and pop a carb on this thing. I'll detach it from the point and then you'll see the complete, right? I mean, it's a very basic, there's not a lot to this particular piece that I just made. But um, when you're first starting out, you know, the goal is to make something saleable that you can do consistently, right? That's kind of a, a good goal to have, at least in my experience. That, you know, I want to have something, you know, if I, if I get to a point where I'm just failing over and over again. It's really hard for me to kind of keep going with it, you know. So it's important that I keep something simple when I'm first starting out. Let me stop talking. that up a little bit. Tighten that up. You know, as you get a little bit better, you add a little resin or, you know, whatever. Um, so anyways, there is a one-piece Sherlock. Go ahead and take it off here. I was talking too much. That carb got a little weird. All right, now to take it off this thing, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna focus right here with a thin flame and I'm gonna pull it off. That's hot. I'm gonna pull it off. And then I'm going to take it and pick it out. Yeah. So. Okay. Now, this process is going to be exactly the same for the other method where um, you use a blow tube. That's, that's how I like to detach my, my pieces, is I just pick out a nice little thin spot. Bam, bam a lama. 
All right, so uh, one last thing. I'll uh, go grab, put this in the kiln. I'm gonna go grab one of those spoons and I'll show you guys how to detach it from the blow tube and then we'll call the video good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus my heat right here and I'm going to pull it real thin. I'm going to pull it out into a little cone and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Try to get a close up on, on that little cone shape that I'm talking about. So sharp flame, sharp flame, not a whole lot of propane, not a whole lot of nothing really, but pretty sharp, sharp little flame. The focus right on that joint. When it gets warm, I'm just going to pull it out. Don't have to keep it in the flame. Okay. So that's where we're at, right? You guys can see that. Then, I'm going to melt this back down. It'll, it'll kind of flatten out. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to push it in and pick it out like this. See that? All right. I'm gonna take my tweezers. I'm just gonna take the edge of these tweezers and knock it. Knock it. Now you got an open hole. I'm gonna put that back in. I'm gonna flame polish it. Since it's so thin, it's just gonna open up on its own. I might have to go in there with the reamer, maybe push it against my marver real quick. You know, but. Bam. All right. Well, I uh, hope I kept that video pretty short and sweet. Yeah, I think we were just at about, well, 30 minutes. Um, if you guys care to, uh, like I said, the YouTube channel is, is up. I archive all of my uh, videos on the YouTube channel. Um, you can send me a friend request. Um, you know, the YouTube thing is great because it'll notify you as soon as I put up a video. Uh, so if you did want to catch one of those, that's cool. Also, again, I'm, I'm um, still doing the giveaway with these two uh, demo spoons that I did the other day. Um, if you wanted to be entered into that demo, we can uh, just drop a comment and give me a subscribe um, for the, the video that's called the Spoon Pipe Demo. Um, I'll also give away that One Piece Sherlock. Um, so stay tuned for that again when you see the video go up on YouTube Just uh, just drop a comment to be entered. You know what I mean on that particular video. I uh, give me a subscribe You know um, we have the best freaking community y'all. It's amazing um, You know there's just so much help out there and uh, so much love and support that I've gotten so um, Hopefully, you know doing this kind of thing. I'm able to give a little bit of that back and um, you know, I love you guys. I appreciate you all watching. Um, so, anyways, uh, the YouTube channel is linked up in the description of this particular video. So, y'all have a good one, and I'll talk to you soon.